Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make a sweet treat or a dessert uh, again from New Zealand. I've been looking at quite a few New Zealand recipes recently and this one is for Louise cake or Louise slice. Um, it's a shortbread base with a layer of raspberry jam and then it's topped with uh, coconut meringue. Seems to be very very popular over there and there's lots of recipes around so I looked at all the recipes and I've come up with what I think uh, suits mine and for that I'm going to make one in an 8 inch square or um, 20 centimeter square cake tin and I start off by preheating my oven to 170 degrees Celsius, 150 Celsius with a fan, 340 Fahrenheit and we do actually increase the, that temperature when we cook the meringue, but that's the temperature to start with for the shortbread. So I'll go on to the ingredients. And for this, I have 175 grams, which is one cup plus two and a half tablespoons, based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup of plain flour. Then I have uh, 90 grams, which is six and a half tablespoons, of soft unsalted butter. I have one medium egg yolk, which would be large in the USA, four grams of baking powder, and 100 grams, half a cup of caster sugar. And those are the ingredients for the shortbread. And for the meringue, I have 75 grams, one cup of desiccated coconut, you can use shredded coconut if that's what you have, but in the UK most people can easily get desiccated coconut. I have two medium egg whites, which would be large in the USA, uh, 50 grams, a quarter of a cup of caster sugar, and five milliliters, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then in addition to those, I have um, 120 grams, six tablespoons, of raspberry jam and mine's a seedless raspberry jam but you can use the jam with a seed in if you want to and I suppose you could use other jams if you wanted to. So that's all the ingredients and the first thing we need to do is to make up our shortbread mixture and I'm going to do this in my uh, processor bowl of my immersion blender because it's just a very simple mixture. So I'll put the flour in and then I'll sprinkle over the baking powder and then add in the 100 grams of sugar and I'm just going to give that a quick uh, pulse or two to get those uh, combined with each other and that's good enough so then I'm going to add in my softened butter and I think you could probably use cold butter if you wanted to uh, because we're simply going to mix it um, until it's mixed in And that's got that mixed in. So then I'm going to um, just take a fork and I'm going to break my egg yolk and I'm going to pour that in. And I'm going to pass that until it starts uh, to form a nice coarse breadcrumb like mixture. <laughs> And that's good enough like that. It's quite coarse. So I'm going to put that into my prepared cake tin. 
which if I didn't mention, I have uh, greased and lined. That's for ease of getting it out later. And that's good. So I'm just mixing that around a little bit and then I'm going to spread it over the surface. And get it quite level. And with that level, I'm then going to flatten that and I'll use um, the back of a spoon to do that. I'm going to press it down all the way around. And with that pressed down like that, I'm going to put that into the oven and I'm going to bake it for 10 minutes. And then I'll take it out of the oven and set it to one side so that it can cool down quite a bit. And at that stage, I'll uh, increase my oven temperature to 180 degrees Celsius, uh, 160 Celsius with a fan, 350 Fahrenheit. So once that, that's in the oven, we'll go on and we'll start to make our meringue. I baked the shortbread for 10 minutes and it rose up as it would do with the baking powder. Um, and it rose slightly more around the edges. So I've pressed those down a little bit and um, it's been cooling down. It's still warm, but it's, it's firmed up. So I'm going to put my raspberry jam on. And then I'm just going to spread that over. And of course you can use the amount that you want, but I think uh, this will hopefully be a good enough amount for my purposes. I'm going to spread that over the surface just to have a, a thin layer of the jam. And that is good enough. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to whisk my egg whites. Um, I'm going to use my hand mixer to do that. And I want to whisk them to fairly stiff peaks and then I'll start to add in my caster sugar and whisk them until they're very stiff. And they're fairly stiff now, so I'm going to add my sugar in a little bit at a time and keep whisking. And I want them to stiffen up uh, nicely and remain uh, sort of shiny at the same time. So I put a bit of sugar in. And so I can now see that that's stiff peaks. So I'm going to uh, add in the remaining ingredients. Now that's taken me with my hand mixer about seven minutes to mix. I could have done it quicker in my stand mixer, I think, um, but that's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my desiccated coconut and I'm going to sprinkle over that my vanilla extract and I'm just going to gently fold those together.
just like that. And then I'm going to put that on top of the raspberry jam. And then I'm going to spread that over the top, right up into the corners. Just like that. And I'm going to put that into the oven and I'm going to bake it um, at that new temperature for 15 to 20 minutes until uh, the meringue bakes and it colours nicely on the top. And then I'll take it out of the oven and I'm going to leave it in the tin until it is completely cool. Then I'll take it out of the tin and I'll come back and show you the results. I baked the Louise cake for uh, 20 minutes. It did colour nicely on the top. Um, and so I took it out of the oven and I left it in the tin until it was cool. And then I took it out of the tin and I've now cut it into 16 pieces. So I'll show you what it looks like. So 16 two inch squares and I've taken one of them out so that I can have a taste. So that, that meringue's uh, lovely and soft as it would be, rather almost like a coconut macaroon, if you know what they are. Um, and the, the shortbread base is going to be soft as well, I'm sure, because it rose up um, as it was baking. So I'll have a taste of the piece that I've taken out. Mmm, that is delicious. You've got the sweetness um, from that meringue with the uh, texture of the coconut in it as well. Then that uh, sweet tartness from the raspberry and just a little bit of bite in the, the shortbread underneath. So I can quite understand why this is so popular in New Zealand. And it's actually not difficult to make, although it takes a while to beat the meringue. Uh, so that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen, there'll be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe. And I'll put a link below the video as well. And I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.